first of all, I want to thank the organizers who invited me to give me a chance to show all the recent data. I'm Michelle Bixley, we are from the uh, University of uh, Science and Technology of China, Yakobi. Before my talk, I want to thank my collaborators. All the visitors, guys, my students and colleagues from the USTC, and also the two guys from the Wuhan Magnetic Field Center. Okay, this is all for for my talk. At first, I want to briefly introduction for the uh, topological company to create some authority. Uh, two previous topics, we will also for the introduction, maybe I just uh, mention. Then I will talk about the third day, last day, and the impact of the tertium dropped in this material, and uh, give the brief summary. First, I want to talk about the introduction for the topology company in later. Yeah. Before I talk, this uh, figure is shown already by the previous talk. For this material, it's topology in later. It's a high temperature. It's just conduction band and low band. The these two band is hybridization. To form the least two cases. This is case is uh, hypothermia, but this case is the condensator. Yeah, <coughs> for this the condensator theory, this is a uh, 5D band and the 4, 4F band, the hybridization to form the least uh, gap. And the, also, this TV shows the least uh, integration behavior. Okay, and also it's confirmed by the some calculation. This this uh, band just below, uh, just the, below this uh, Fermi level, okay? Then uh, later, the people is carefully did the measurement for the transport to show the resistivity as a function of like that. It's below the 4 Kelvin, shows the some of that <coughs> uh, uh, saturation for this uh, uh, material at low temperature. This is uh, how to understand the saturation in resistivity. Of course, right now, it's, uh, for this flash, uh, uh, ascribed to the uh, uh, topological surface state. For the first topological companies, uh, for this uh, uh, report by the uh, interaction giant the topology insulator, later on, the, by Daishi and the Fungus group, is contributed to the topological surface state for this uh, Fermi uh, direct column is the uh, old level. Okay, and later on, a lot of experiment for uh, conformity for this material is first dominate transport and R5 FDM on the oxidation and so on. Okay, here I just show you that some of the R5 data. This is by the Jiang Juan, his audience here. Can show, here is the R5 shows that some of the KZ independent frame surface in the here. It definitely shows that some of the first uh, uh, state. And later on, by also by Xu, also is the audience here. You saw some still reserved archives shows that some like Cairo is here, and uh, also shows that this is the topological surface state. Okay, later on, by Zhu's this group uh, is confirmed to use the talk the evidence for 2D surface state. For later on, we will talk about that. Okay, here and now shows the a lot of evidence for the surface surface dominant transport for the for this uh, top, uh, topological company state for some some area. Before the previous talk in 3D it shows the data is not uh, say some uh, so much for that. Okay, then uh, for surface state of all group is just to use the transport. Okay, here I this is the data for, for the Higgs crystal. We can measure the one zero zero surface and the one, one, zero. All the shows that this data look, looks like that. Then this is a very beautiful data is for below the four cabin shows the flat. And also I, also the resistivity as a function I sh shows the one over T. This from the list the resistivity we can derive for four regions. For this region, just before I mentioned this is the this flat, flat uh, region. This flat region is the per surface state. And the last one is for here, uh, region three and then region two and region one. Region one right now is not is the bad matter, but uh, here is two regions for insulation. 
Data I'm going to show you, this is two regions in creating the area difference, okay? Okay, a lot of uh, evidence is for the magnetic resistance evidence for the surface phase. Here I show you that for this the material is for the 2 Kelvin, 3 Kelvin, 4 Kelvin, 5 Kelvin, and the above the 5 Kelvin is to the uh, 50 Kelvin. You can see this is uh, magnetic resistance is changing uh, dramatically. Here I show you that uh, this magnetic resistance as the temperature is still. For the above this the 10 Kelvin is almost flat. This means it's the magnetic resistance almost zero. But the close to the, this the 5 Kelvin just uh, goes into the surface state, this is a lot of the uh, magnetic resistance. Then it goes <coughs> into the surface state, also the magnetic resistance is almost zero. This is maybe it's close to the some of the counter broke down uh, due to that this goes into the uh, from the uh, uh, from the bottom to the surface state. Okay. Also we do the some of the anisotropic magnetic resistance. For this single crystal, magnetic resistance just use the this surface one zero zero. Then the current just keep in the this zero zero one, then they're rotating this field in the, this this place. You can see from the high temperature, this is just the fifty Kelvin to ten Kelvin to the this is five Kelvin. This uh, anisotropy is uh, just a fourfold symmetry. You can see. Then the below the this for five Kelvin, then this symmetry is changing to the two fold. This is for the one zero zero one surface. But if I change it also to the last one, one one zero surface, also do the same thing. But above the five Kelvin also is for four the symmetry. For this surface and this surface is exact same. But if the below the this four Kelvin, the anatomy uh, the third uh, the, uh, symmetry is changed, this to four fold. But also if you can see this is from one zero zero one surface and the Y10 surface, this uh, I mean it's a phase is shift uh, 45 centigrade. From this is a four fold to the two fold is this is easy to understand because this is due to the due to the this surface, you know. Because this surface is here and rotating the field of surface always keep about keep in the in the plane. This means you rotate in the field always keep that like it's two fold. But above that Surface state because this is the four fold is due to the structure. This is a cubic structure. Of course, it's four fold symmetry, right? But I changed this from this surface to the this surface, y minus zero surface. But this surface phase just changed at least the forty centigrade. This is why here is phase is shifted forty five. This definitely gives that this surface state. Even for a different surface, this is phase is shift. Okay. This conclusion, this surface conducting become the dominant below this five Kelvin uh, due to that this uh, surface state. And also it's a sample dependent surface state. This is you can see we our group is grown up so many in a single crystal. You can measure this sample. It's very interesting for all the samples above the this five Kelvin for this data is always robust. Just below 5 Kelvin, this data is the mm. divergence. This is means this is con contribution from bus state is quite robust, but the contribution from surface state is sample dependent. This surface state conduction is very dependent on sample. Okay. Even for our linear sample, just before you can see here with two samples. It's the same sample, or just the annealing that. You can see this is before the annealing sample, but the annealing then the Surface con conduct a uh, resistivity increase with the uh, annealing. This also annealing reduces the surface conduction. But for the structure, for the magnetic resistance, always start to change. Right now, why we don't know why it's for this one and also this for the sample dependent. Okay. Another thing is the surface roughness effect. This for a good sample, high quality sample. I just show you the below that side. For Kelvin, this is the magnetic resistance just for uh, two-fold symmetry. 
But if the same sample, if we just the polish this sample, make the sample is roughness is okay, then that this is changed. This also is two Kelvin, but this is two two fold change for four fold. And to compare with the above the five Kelvin the magnetic resistor, light shock is this phase also shift 40, 43, 45 Kelvin. Ah, uh, that great. Okay. Right now, also we do not understand why this surface roughness can change. You can see also they change the conduction surface. You know, this is too old magnitude is change just by our roughness. And also this for surface state actually absorption spectroscopy and actually magnetic. So to that this is the method to support this surface state is paramagnetic. The valence is uh, some area is. Uh, Different surfaces, but maybe this change, I mean, the surface conductance, uh, conductivity, also that the phase change, uh, I mean, the uh, uh, anisotropy is a phase uh, symmetry, also is maybe due to the this, uh, due to the this, some very rarely is change, we think, also for the needing. Okay, and a lot of things is, is the surface counter is break, break down by the, this group report. This also is reduce the conduction of some area, 3 1 plus iron at the surface, causing remarkable reduction in the disk temperature. Also, I think it changes the some the conductivity. And also, just before JP also it shows this uh, data. This is for the, just by gauging, the change conduct uh, carry concentration. To me, maybe just change the carry concentration. Also, maybe the carry concentration due to the back state. This change that this surface state. But, but the deal is just the 25% change by gauging. But the deal is for the sample, different sample is too old of the magnitude change. Or the deal is for the roughness also is too magnet, magnet, uh, too uh, old of the magnet change for the resistivity. Okay, this is the first part of work on that. Then for back state, uh, just before I talk about this is for resistivity as a function one of, of a T, the, what is region for the insulation behavior? For this region, is, we call it this region is region three. This is from five to the 14 Kelvin. The gap is generally depend on the magnetic field, the data I show you that. Okay, here is to show that all the data just that for the resistivity as a function of this one of a T, the, for the different uh, uh, field from the 0 tesla to the 55, 45 tesla, <coughs> you can see this is gap is closing, I mean it's decreasing. And also, also the people already uh, reported before our data shows that also this is the gap is closing. Anyway, this gap from this region, the gap is <coughs> dependent on the field, okay? But for the, this is the quantum matter, uh, also is for this, uh, it has been more parallel, also we find uh, some group is reported that this is, uh, in this region also shows that this uh, uh, counter gap is still dependent on. Also is for this uh, counter insulator, also for uh, this uh, gap, counter gap is closing under the magnetic field, this field is just around the 40 Tesla. This is for counter gap. But uh, in this region, in this region means it's a field that depends on the insulation region. This is like the counter gap on that. But uh, this region, we want to talk about this, uh, this region two, all the insulation behavior from the 60 Kelvin to the 16 Kelvin. Okay, here is the, some group is reported by the archive shows that is from the, this is just the, 60 Kelvin to the 30 Kelvin, you can see this band is push up. And also this, a lot of band also is push up. This is, is the, in the, this region, the gap and also the, I mean the spectral weight is transformed. Also the, this for EPC, you can see from the, this is 60 Kelvin to the 3 Kelvin, this is spectral weight from the field transport here. And also, my uh, all the uh, collaborators, uh, Yang Yuang is by the SPM 
also shows a signal behavior. This six decavalent looks like some this gap is here. Decreasing the temperature also this gap is that this factor wave is is here is that increase. This means it's from the, this region, some of the gap is uh, looks like the field gap, okay. And also by AMR also shows uh, this region for the uh, for the field gap behavior is here. Also from the six Kelvin, this data here. And also this gap also is dependent of the field. You can see this field is from the field Tesla to the set seven Tesla. If in this region the gap is independent, also it looks like a field gap. Our group also use the line stamina to document this uh, Samaria form 6. This is Samaria form 6. Use this line stamina 10% and 20%. You can see in this region, this gap is suppressed. Can by, by this uh, line stamina document, this document is electron document. You can see also by MR also shows the for the subvaria. On top of the sample is some of the pseudo gap is here. But use the, this this one, this suppress this gap, and also the for this one is suppress this gap. This gap is this consistent with the resistivity measurement of the data. Okay? And okay, this is the uh, from the MR, this is the master area shows the gap. Uh, magnitude. Okay, anyway, last time we the suppressed insulation behavior in the region 2. We observed the super, uh, pseudo gap like the behavior in the AMR being consistent with the observation in the resistivity. <laughs> and also, we got this sample uh, <coughs> used the uh, eterpin. This eterpin is a whole dopin. Whole dopin, you can see, can definitely change the, this uh, insulation behavior. Also, in the AMR data shows that this uh, the gap also almost doesn't change. This means there's no effect of this insulation in the region 2 by the determined dotting. Okay? Okay, then we summarize the all the data given this phase uh, diagram. This is the phase uh, region 1, region 2, and the region 3. Region 2 and region 3 to the insulation region. Okay, then that here gives that some area balance and all this temperature, this one over T1, and also this is uh, for the uh, uh, susceptibility. You can see, it's very interesting. For this region, from the, this summary variance is from the 6.2.6, increase degrees to the, this 2.5. Then this is the insulation is here. This is independent, but in this Region, I mean, still the gap region. This is a some very violence though, almost doesn't change. Okay, then that, then this box says that in this region looks like a still the gap, and also reduction of the density of state at Fermi level. Okay, then let me move to the effect of the eutrophic dominant in the some very form six. Okay, this uh, this paper just use uh, some of the pressure <coughs> on the Samaria form six. You can see this Samaria form six under pressure can change the, this the valence from the Samaria two point six to the Samaria three plus. This from the you can see this for a low pressure. If for a eleven gigapass, it shows uh, some of this. Uh, specific data shows a summary transition. This transition, right now we know that this is a ferromagnetic transition. Just use the pressure, this is a very form six from the non-magnetic to the ferromagnetic transition, okay? This is de depend on the summary balance, okay? Here in the, uh, here's common, give the some of the first elements here. In the, this, this region, this is critical, Point is here. For here is three plus for this summary valence. You can see this is a bad insulator. Here is a strong topological insulator. This means approaching AF the critical point. How about the topological nature in this system? This is why we dropped this sample summary volume six 
use the nitrogen and the nitrogen. Use nitrogen is push this Samaria to the some Samaria plus two plus. This plus uh, push to the Samaria three plus. Okay. Also, is that this is previous the work is shows that if you use the strong cement, nitrogen, 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 and solid, you can see use the, these two elements increase the balance. This is decrease the balance. Okay. Here I just show you use the nitrogen two plus. This is non magnetic because nitrogen is non magnetic. Okay. This. Magnetic resistance, uh, sus, uh, the, uh, this is the susceptibility measurement moment. You can see it's decreased with the increase uh, this determined. Uh, <coughs> and also, this uh, actually uh, determined content. You can see it's decreased for that. Okay, here and also so for resistivity as, uh, as the digital X, you can see from the very low topic. Still shows uh, some the insulating behavior and also the uh, topological uh, surface state. But from a DL to DL, it's totally insulated to the big, this correct matter. This is for the, I uh, mean, the determined form six. This is matter. Okay? And uh, we do that M I measurement. You can see for this, before I just show you this data. But it's very interesting for the higher doping for the interview. You can see here it shows that. One of the TY is for the above this uh, 50 Kelvin, this TY is constant, almost constant. This means it shows that, uh, suggests this is a critical behavior similar to the heavy formula in the this material. And also for the this, uh, for, even for the highest doping, here is the uh, one over T is decreased with uh, increased temperature. This shows uh, like the uh, pure white behavior. This means from the local moment in the, this sample. Okay, this I just uh, remind you. This is for the this is QCB for the, this the uh, heavy formula material. This also one of the TY is constant in this region. Just compare with steel. This is critical part. This steel behavior. Okay, and also we do uh, some the the same sample to the. Best heat measurement. Also from the steel, this two gear shows that in this region we find that some of the log T behavior. This log T behavior, this divergence behavior, also suggested a critical behavior. This consistent with the observed in the MR measurement in this region. Okay, also in this region. This is for the, this material, also shows that log T is the, uh, in the uh, best heat measurement. And also we measure this uh, susceptibility, this um, total moment also shows here is log T is behavior. In the, I mean, it gives you the MR data and the spec heat measurement and also the susceptibility measurement shows the crit critical the, uh, behavior. Here is magnetic resistance. You can see this is log T divergence is here. All the data is shows that the determined dominant is a very form six shows that from the this top topologically insulated to here it shows the heavy formula. And then I give you the base diagram is here. It's transfer from a commonly insulated to the heavy formula by determined dominant is here. In this region, is a summary is the valence is 2.5. Like that. This come close to this valence is the commonly insulated. But in this between this uh, weak correlated matter, this shows uh, some correlation, uh, quantum correlated region shows the uh, high formula behavior. Okay. Okay, then I talk about the correlated topological insulator. At the beginning, it's Dai Xi and Bang Zhong. It gives a calculation for this matter, should be is the also is topological insulator, right? But here's the, for the calculation. This is the F band is just below that. Slightly below the Fermi level, but for the but for the measurement for the RMAS data, you can see this is the band is here is much less than here. This close to the if the, this F band is to close to Fermi surface, uh, Fermi level should be topological insulator, but this uh, level is around the here. 
this is not totally factor in factor in this case. Okay, and also the alpha theta shows that this axis for surface theta in the this determining form of six because this KC trend and also is independent of the KZ. Just uh, looks like the uh, semi surface is really two dimensional. Okay, and uh, for this material, also for the evidence for not counter instead with loss momentum in this one, this is the measurement for the MR data. This is for the summary form six. This is Etopi form six. This is for the Lysen form six. Because the Lysen form six is just a semi. Uh, this is a counter instead. But here is, you can see this is just some peak is here. This is just some peak is here to show the some the loss moment in this one. Uh, in this material, you see this uh, fishing is a free uh, loss moment model. But here also it depends on the field. Also we use the different field, you can see this peak is shift. It definitely give you the, uh, this loss free loss moment on the different magnetic field. In, for this material shows uh, some of the free uh, log moment. This log moment magnitude like this one is very small. Okay, and also is uh, here is give like this T1 as a magnetic field as well. You can see in here is uh, give that like this, uh, I mean this T1 is proportional to like this magnetic field square. This sample <coughs> shows uh, some uh, free log moment. But below this temperature, here is something to see here. This is different. We find it, that we measured this uh, suspicious measurement. You can see it's definitely below this 40 Kelvin. This, this temperature shows the salamine natural in this material. This is definitely give that this is interpreting form six, some of the Above that is the Fort Kelvin, some the free local moment of that. Below this temperature, some the correlation that give the salamine natural order. Okay, let me give you a summarize. In the overall uh, unless job magnetic resistance, without strongly support the surface contribution, is dominated for the low temperature resistance, imply the existing surface state. This is consistent with the topology in the state picture. And also insulating behavior in this form six cannot be explained by single counter gap. It's ascribed the combination of the field gap and the field dependent gap of that. And also the high formula could emerge from the soft counter insulator and its topological nat natural risk be interesting. Okay, thank you for your attention. As you do, why did you do similar exploring? Yeah. Um, what happens to the linear term of the specific heat? Is the linear term get smaller or gets larger or not change? So electron term, gamma term. You, uh, I give the here is the gamma is uh, for the interpret is here. No, for the, in this region should be the is larger. You can see this is divergency. Yeah, magnetic resistance, this is local P is diverging on this region. I just chose the hyperformian region. And, on, and also the spec heat also shows that yeah, this yeah, one. Specific. Yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. Yeah, My yeah. question is the gamma linear term, low temperature term, electronic term, is it getting bigger or smaller? Yeah. I, Look at this. Is here is uh, goes to two hundred. Your plot gets T not T squared. No T. Oh, uh, so your plot in your lost. Uh, I, I need I need to come back. Yeah, come so back to the plot. It's much plot. bigger. You're going to see. Maybe it's not a linear. No, that's C over T then. It's C over T. Yeah, oh, it's just the gross. Yeah, it's yeah, much bigger. No, no, no. So it's it's good. It's better. Yeah, this is C at. C T yeah, T square, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you said that the is bivalent. Is there is there a measurement of that? 
Yeah, we check that the determinant number is easy to get to because the, in the, in the, this uh, nice series measure is Samaria and Ethiopia and uh, European is easy to get to fast. It's especially for the Ethiopia is easy to get. To How do you fast. know it's two plus then? Sorry? How do you know it's not mixed valent Ethiopian? Oh, in this material, mm -hmm. I don't. Is there an X ray? Yeah, we do that. Is we do that. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I do the XPS. Yeah, we do that to confirm that the trophy is too fast. Yeah. yeah. And another question, what about the Sumerian? You said that, well, you suggested that you can change the Sumerian valence by adding terbium or lanthanum. Yes. But is it known that, that the actual Sumerian valence is changing, or that, or are you talking about just the average measurement? But but in this, of course, here is I just give the average, average. average yeah, yeah. More questions? I have a question. Can we go back to the conductivity for this third thing? For this third thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you still see the saturation at low temperature? Yeah, but low temperature, yeah. When you're at zero. Yeah, be, uh, yeah, because here is the we, we plot this is the temperature is a log scale, you know, from two cal to to four Kelvin value. Yeah. 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 Are you able to extract the magneto resistance of the bulk? Can you separate that from the magneto resistance of the circuit? Uh, I think it's very difficult. But now yeah, use the we just use the normal Substrate measurement like that is very difficult right now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can do some of the NMR data if you combine the substrate measurement and combine together. Maybe we can do that. No, but, but no, very, I was very asking long. about the magneto resistance of yeah. the bulk. You know, this is we can do, yes, because you for the magneto resistance for the at back, this is the for a uh, high temperature is uh, uh, magneto resistance. Uh, magneto resistance is very small, mm -hmm. almost close to zero. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why you you want to know that subject uh, <coughs> is for the bulk contribution to the, this. Uh, but what about at low temperatures? Yeah, for the low temperature. <laughs> well, you, can't, you can't extract it during at the surface. Okay. Yeah. Because this is just below the 45 Kelvin is the surface. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also this magneto resistance is still is much less still. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is not the data is not good. So just one or two slides uh, forward to uh, you have a slide that shows large changes in the surface conductivity. Yeah, for the dependent assembler. Which one? Mm -hmm. uh, for the part is always. Things like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you have some idea why that might be happening? But uh, I just mentioned that maybe that for this material, some of the summary relative slight change. Yeah, because of all needing, even for a sample, just the needing, you know, you can, this is a resistance increase by one order of magnitude. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge yeah. change. Yeah, huge yeah. Yeah. Huge, yeah. I, I know. I know it's a huge change, yeah. But so, I I just, in my talk, I just mentioned that. So far, we don't know the exact reason for that. I think it's extremely interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think so, but uh, right now it's hard to say that. Okay. And if you do the opposite, opposite if you damage the surface, does it go back? This is damage, yeah. Yeah, this is damage that this uh, uh -huh. surface. We just use the side paper. It's just the polished uh -huh. sample. The, then the measurement, that you can see. Comes the behavior down. is the same. And uh, all the, above the four Kelvin <coughs> data is the exact information. <coughs> But just below this for the third stage, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Really, to but, be honest, I don't know why. But in these measurements, you have to reapply the contact, right? So 
the, the geometry changes. No, this is, this is for the, which calculate the reductivity use. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's the object and the measure the contact. But using mm -hmm. a, the 3D, the bulk resistance is geometry. Yeah. But if you're talking about surface 2D resistance, you have to talk about ohms per square. So how does that number compare? Okay. I don't, I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah. But I think this is a huge change. Yeah, yeah, huge change, yeah. Because presumably yeah. when you polish it, you're not changing the geometry of the crystal yeah. Yeah. very much. It's just the small. Of course, we, we just polish it and measure the difference. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't change any of that factors. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say it. Yeah, um, uh, I'll, I'll talk in a little bit about uh, some work that we did that actually shows that when you polish it, you get some subsurface cracks in your material. Mm -hmm. And these cracks, uh, insofar as they are defects, they're two-dimensional defects, they're new surfaces. If the crash should be, the resistivity should be, should be increased by the field, it's you know? No, no, it, it's the other way around. If, if you have a crack, you'll get more surface. So there's more surface for your carriers to travel along. Mm -hmm. So your resistivity actually goes down. Okay. Okay. You generate more surfaces, and if it is a real topological insulator, every surface contributes to conduction. And you'll show data, um, I guess the last talk of today, okay. exactly that point. Okay, thank you. What was the annealing protocol? Sorry? How, how did you do the annealing? Annealing? Okay, it's uh, here. You just, you just have a temperature? Which temperature and what atmosphere? Yeah. Just uh, need. Okay. We just 600 saturated, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. You mean it's a bit high, right? Well, compared to the melting point, it's, yeah, okay. it's not it's enough. enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know why. But you know, for this, uh, for the normally, for the check the field gap is zero, or even for the coupling, we check it is uh, MR uh, person, you just use uh, something like this linear behavior. Yes. Then uh, if the deviation from this one, then it shows uh, something. Well, I thought uh, uh, nitrate and coupling. Yeah. I'm kind of understand why uh, it's linear. Okay. Right. Uh, but uh, I, I don't see how why it should work. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know. Okay. Okay, we're back on time, so maybe let's stop there. Thank you, speaker.